In Puerto Rico, FEMA announced the historic assessment of a $30 billion recovery of Puerto Rico. But that project, uh, this funds will be used for, Francis Felix explains. Highways, parks, hospitals, educational institutions, water and electricity infrastructure. These are just some of the areas included in projects amounting to $30 billion in allocations from FEMA. The assistance is destined for the reconstruction of Puerto Rico after the passage of Hurricane Maria to address these and other social and essential service facilities. Over 10,600 projects cover various categories under public assistance funds to address infrastructure whose renovations will benefit the entire island, said FEMA. Some of the projects are University of Puerto Rico with over $750 million to optimize their structures. In post-secondary education is the Puerto Rico Conservatory of Music, which is already under construction. Due to historical value, the facilities of the Specialized Public University had a damage assessment that addressed the reconstruction of a 19th century building to which FEMA allocated over $1.5 million. The Roberto Clemente Walker Stadium in Carolina is already receiving the public following the allocation of nearly $18 million from the agency. According to the agency, the reconstruction will not only benefit the professional baseball and the home of the Gigantes, but also welcomes over 100 teams of preparatory tournaments for children's leagues. FEMA explained that both the island roads and bridges as well as water and electricity services are the main resources to begin emergency response work and one of the agency's newly assigned projects includes the dredging of the Carraiso Reservoir, one of the most important reservoirs of the island. At about $88 million, the funds for the Puerto Rico Aqueduct and Sewer Authority will allow the removal of some 2.6 million cubic yards of sediment from the reservoir. The Central Office for Recovery, Reconstruction and Resiliency is an ally in the efforts of moving forward permanent work. Once the municipalities, government agencies and non-profit organizations receive the obligations from FEMA, which today amount to $30 billion. Given this, the Executive Director Manuel Lavoy from the Central Office for Recovery thanked the commitment of the Biden-Harris administration with Puerto Rico by supporting key initiatives that have allowed the start of permanent works. Reporting from San Juan, Puerto Rico, Francis Félix for One Caribbean News.